How expensive is Belgrade, Serbia, may you ask? In this video, I want to go through the cost of living in Belgrade, Serbia in 2021. First off, I'm going to show you around my Airbnb apartment, which is centrally located for great exploration around the city. This hostel is costing me around $12 a night, which I think is extremely great value because I've seen hostels around at the same price. Let's show you around. Okay, first off, we're going to the bedroom. It's nice, modernly decorated. You've got a nice bit of artwork on the wall. You've got a desk there to put your bits and pieces on. Also pan around, you've got a flat screen TV. Moving on to the living room area, you've got this jazzy rug here, which I really dig. You've got another flat screen TV. Moving around, you've got a couch, and that also pans out as a bed as well. So if there's anybody else that wanted to stay, they could stay on that. Really like the pillows as well, very funky. Going through here, you've got a little room. You've got your coffee and tea, just here. You've also got a little table here for breakfast and put your laptop on, chill out. Moving round, we go to the kitchen. Got a nice jazzy blue light here. Modern kettle. And you've got your washing machine here and you've got your fridge here, which is stocked with beer and chocolate. Surprise, surprise. You may also recognise I've got some vignac on the side as well. That costs 130 dinars, which is the equivalent of $1.30. I'll be drinking that later. You've also got a modern cooker as well, which will save you a few dinars if you want to cook for yourself. Okay, and moving to the bathroom. Just pan round. You've got a walk-in shower here with a big shower head. And you've also got a big mirror here with my ugly mug in it. <laughs> I've also got to say the owners of this property are top quality people. Really kind, really nice. Really highly recommend this place. They've also got other properties around the area to stay. As always, I'll leave a link in the description for this property and also a link in the description to get your money off your first Airbnb purchase. Right, quick money saving tip for you. When you arrive at the airport, you'll see a load of taxi drivers. Now I've heard some horror stories. Some of my friends have actually been ripped off by some of the taxi drivers there. They will charge you a lot more than the actual journey's worth. So this thing here, which is a VIP card, you'll get that, which will give you 20 gigabyte of data. It costs about 300 uh, dinars, which is $3. You can get this next to a garage right next to the airport. So ask somebody where the garage is, they'll put you in the right direction, get one of these and then get onto an app called Cargo or Yandex where that will give you the right price if you're going to the city. You know, you don't want to get ripped off at all. But yeah, very helpful this. If you can't get one of those cards, then I highly recommend you get a pink taxi because they'll give you a good price. The price you'll be paying for pink taxis from the airport to Belgrade city centre will cost you $20. So if you can't get one of the pink taxis and a taxi driver approaches you, it's $20 from the airport to Belgrade city centre. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the supermarket because I'm hungry. I need a few bits and pieces. I want to show you how much the price of things are there and I may get a beer on the way. You never know. Another thing I want to touch on is buses. If you can't get a taxi, then the bus is the cheapest way to get around. I paid about 130 dinars for a 20 minute journey the once. Also I paid about $7 to get to Novi Sad, which is about an hour away, which I think is great value. Okay, you've got your fruits here. And we'll go for these oranges. They're 89 cents. Bargain, you need your vitamin C. There you go, stand the orange theme. I'm going to get these Jaffa cakes. They're 74.99 dinars, which is 74 cents. Okay, drinks. I'm going to go for Fanta. That's 135 dinars. About $1.35. There you go, you've got the beer section. I've got the Lab at Home. That's 182 dinars. Zoychesco, 179. Yellen, 191 dinars. Got to get your beer in. Okay, croissants now. You've got a load here, you've got big ones, 134. I'll go for the smaller. This is 42 Dina. Let's get one of them. There you go, price of milk, 84 Dinas. 
okay wine section you got different prices you got 500 dinar you got more expensive a thousand going down 400 700 473 you got a bottle of white tea which is 214 you got another one it's 119 that's a dollar 20 and you got a rose 129 as well I like a rose so go for that one dollar 29 cents bargain okay snack section different prices different things you got the pardons the peachy 64.99 smoky chocolate is 159.99 dina and smoky original is 29.99 dina the bigger bag is 74.99 dina let's go for a big bag the old smoky you got the more recognised around the world Pringles, they're 401 Dina, which is $4. You've got my favourite, Chipsky Demansky, 84.99 Dinas. We'll get some of those. Love these crisps. This section, I recognise the Jim Bean, that's 2,099 Dinas. You've got Absolute Vodka, that's 1,459 Dinas. You've got your gin here. 138.99. I recognise that one, the Rubinov Vignac. That's 939 dinars. That's nine dollars thirty-nine. That's pretty good. And you got the little bowls here, of which I've got 132 dinars. One dollar thirty-two. That will set you up for the night. Really love the Vignac. And next to that, you got some Slivovich. Big bottle of that. 589 dinars. Love the Slivovich as well. One thing I've noticed is deodorants and shower gels are quite expensive. So I tend to go to the uh, open air markets, they're a little bit cheaper. I mean this Nivea Men is 459. That's four dollars fifty. That's about a pound in England, which is about one dollar twenty-five. Pastas, different prices, 89 cents for that, 64 for that one. And that's the cheapest I've seen, that's 39. That's really good value, 39 cents for a bag of pasta. Go loads of bread, 74.99, really fresh, 89.99. Moving over, you got a few little cakes here, 29.99. Something looks like an English sausage roll, that's 59.99. Got coffees, different prices. Nest Cafe, 789 Dina. I don't know if that's expensive or not. But I like to use these little sachets here. They're about 22.99 Dina, which is 22 cents. Really good value. Really like these as well. There you go. A whole chicken for 299 Dinas. That's less than three dollars. Brilliant. Bottles of water, 49 Dinas. But you can drink the tap water here. It's perfectly safe, so that'll save you even more money. Okay, I've got my shopping, but these bags are a little heavy. There's some musicians around the corner next to the supermarket, and I think they need a drink. I've got enough alcohol at home, so I'm going to give them this bottle of rosé. Here you go, I think this will cheer them up. Thank very well. Bottle of rosé. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good health. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, they're going to have lots of fun today. Like I say, I've got enough alcohol back at home, and these bags are weighing me down, so it had to be done. Great today, make somebody's day. It's a great feeling, you'll love it. Okay, also if you're on a budget and you want to eat cheap, get yourself to a Pacara, which is behind me. Get in there and get yourself a piece of burrick. It'll set you back 100 dinars, which is about a dollar, and it'll fill you up for the rest of the day. Here you go, sandwiches, 200 dinar. Little sausage rolls, about 80 dinar. The croissant, which is 75 dina, it's a great prices. There you go, that's what I want, the burek. Absolutely love the stuff. There you go, got me burek, I'm a happy man. She give me a bigger piece. Uh, it cost me 120 dinas. They sell it by the gram, sounds like drugs. This burek, I tell you, is more addictive than drugs. Okay, I'm back after the Airbnb now. Right next to the Airbnb is a place that sells large slice of pizza for 120 dinars. So they're great if you're on a budget and they're really tasty. I definitely need to go on a diet. I keep saying it, one day maybe.
There you go, here's the place. And there's the pizza. Hello, you right? Uh, one one uh, large slice of pizza, please. One. One slice. One, thank you. Massive pizza. 120 dinars, absolute bargain. Big slice all for me. Right, let's get back to the Airbnb and see what we've purchased and how much it costs. Okay, I'm back in the Airbnb. I just want to show you what I've amassed and how much it costs. All this stuff over here, and including this croissant, including the wine also giveaway, that comes to about 700 dinars at the supermarket, which equates to $7. So if you take the wine away, which I haven't got, that would all come to $6. The burek was 120 dinars and the pizza was 120 dinars. If you took all these away, get rid of those, get rid of the Fanta. So if you want to make your day really cheap and you want to do the calculations of what's left there, that's breakfast, dinner and tea, and you got the oranges as well for the health kick, that equates to 420 dinars, which is $4.20. With the food I've actually got here today, you don't have to copy my diet. I'm not saying I eat that every day, I don't. I just wanted to give you a generalization of prices and to show you how much you can spend in a day. So I've worked out you could do $4 in a day, which equates to three and a half pounds in English money, which I think is very cheap. Also, since my time in Serbia, I've had some really great restaurants and the meals have cost me between 10 and $20 and that's including drinks as well. The food that I've had in restaurants has been outstanding and it's been a pleasurable experience going to the restaurants. I've had a bit of banter with some of the waiters, the service has been great. Highly recommend you go out and try the food here. I'll also leave a link in the description down below where you can check out some of the food I've had since I've been in Serbia. I've got to say, absolute class. Okay, all that's left for me to do now is dive into the alcohol. I'm going to pour myself a vignac in this cup here, which Ava gave me from the 1250 gallery in the Belgrade Design District. Very snazzy indeed. Really dig that. Thanks, Ava. Let's pour one. It's not too early. Okay, for me and the chickens, Javelli. <sighs> oh. If you like what you've seen today in this vlog and it helped you out anyway, help me out by hitting that subscribe and like button and also leave a comment as well. It's always good to connect with people. See you next one. Cheers.